Hello everyone, I am Sajjad and you are watching my YouTube channel Pharma Inform. Today in Pharma Inform we will discuss a very important topic and the topic name is Effects of Granulation. In this topic we will discuss different defects of granulation. We will also discuss the reasons of these defects and what is the possible solution of these defects. So be with us, watch complete video and if you have not subscribed our channel, first of all subscribe the YouTube channel Pharma Inform. You can also visit pharmainform.com to read more articles regarding different informative techniques and solutions and study related material. So let's start our topic. Defects of granulation. As you know that granulation is the process in which we convert fine powders into large size agglomerates to form granules. So we will discuss the defects of granulation according to page wise, step wise discussion. If you don't have watched the video in which we discuss the defects of granulation, you can watch the video. The link is given in the description for your Easiness the granulation steps are first step is weighing, step, second step is sieving, third is pre mixing, then kneading, then wet sieving, then drying, then dry sieving, and final blending. So, we will discuss the possible defects which may occur in possible steps or stages of the wet granulation. So, let's start from Pre mixing, as we know that pre mixing is the step in which we mix our excipients or API in a suitable blender or mixer. So, what may be the defect in pre mixing? Sorry, pre mixing stage. The defect name is non uniform mixing. Name indicates non uniform mixing means our mixing may not be proper in this. So, what may be the reason for non uniform mixing? Mixer load is not according to the cylinder capacity. Mean either we are using the mixer capacity higher than its recommended capacity. Mean if we want or if we can mix 80% of the blender, we are using 20% or 90% of the blender capacity. So, first reason may be the Mixer load. So, what will be the solution? Load the blend into the mixer according to the recommended capacity of the blender. The second reason for the non uniform mixing may be the speed of the blender, either if it is a double cone blender, bin blender, or we are mixing in RMG, it may be the speed of impeller blades. So, if speed is higher than recommended values or if it is lower than the recommended values our mixing may be non-uniform so what will be the solution use optimum speed and for optimum speed we can validate our RPMs according to the situation so next reason may be the low quantity of API mean if we are using a very low quantity API we may face uniform mixing problem of API in a generation stage. So, what will be the solution? The solution of low quantity API is that geometrically mixing. Mean we will mix geometrical method for mixing of low quantity APIs. What is geometrical mixing? We will discuss in next video for a brief concept. It is basically a low quantity wise or a specific ratio wise mixing of API with the Experience. Segregation means segregation if occur in our pre mixing stage, our mixing may not be uniform to avoid segregation. Narrow range of particle recipients or APA can be used. So, this was the step of pre mixing, and in pre mixing, we can we may face non uniform mixing problem or defect. The next defect which may occur in graduation stage is. Overwetting or underwetting, and this step is kneading step. Mean in step of kneading or wetting, we may face following problems. 
one may be the over batting and may be the under batting under batting over batting is also known as duffy mass what are the possible reasons of over batting mean as the name indicates over batting mean a situation in which our granules are over batting what are the possible reasons we may add or over batting occur due to the addition of more binders or more binder solution to our fine powder our fine powder are in less quantity and if we add more binder our mass will be overwet so to avoid overwetting you the granulated amount of binder or binder solution for the wetting of granule the next possible cause or reason which may result in overwetting is the increase mixing time after kneading mean when we finish the addition of binder or solvent into fine powder no that we further mix our mass for a uniform or for a specified period of time for proper conversion of fine powder into granules if this time is exceeded or prolonged this may result in over wet mass so always use optimum mixing time for the kneading process and this time can be validated during the validation process the next reason for over wetting stage is the addition of binder or solvent into the powder mass if we add binder solution into the powder very fastly or in a short period of time this may result in over wetting or over wet mass so always solution uniformly at a uniform rate and do not add it very fastly the next step is or next defect is under wetting as the name indicates under wetting mean our mass is not properly wet this may occur due to the less addition of binder solvent or binder solution so try to add or increase the quantity of solvent into the powder mass to make it wet uniformly to get good quality granule the next reason which may result in under wetting is the less mixing time as increase mixing time results in over wetting very low mixing time may result in under wetting so always use a optimum time or increase mixing time or under wet mass to make it more uniform the next possible cause of under wetting may be the very slow addition rate of binder solution if we add binder very slowly as slow as recommended or as slow lower than the recommended time this may result in under wetting so try to use optimum binder addition rate or add it at fast speed to convert our granules into properly wet mass the next step of wet granulation is wet sieving and in wet sieving the defect which may occur is the sieve clogging sieve clogging means our wet sieve is choked the what is the reason for this sieve choking the reason for this sieve choking is the over wet mass if our granules are over wet this over wet mass will choke our wet sieve so it may result in difficulty of the sieving of granule so avoid over wetting how to avoid over wetting we discussed previously you can go back and watch again this video how to avoid over wetting so the next step is drying in wet granulation drying is a very important step so in drying we may face following defects over drying under drying case hardening non uniform drying and modeling now we will discuss each defect one by one and we will try to find out reasons and we will also discuss solutions reasons and solutions 
So overdrying, as the name indicates, overdrying is a defect in which our granules are overdried or dried more than the recommended time. What may be the reasons? Increased drying time. Mean if our if we dry our granule more than validated drying time, it will result in overdrying. Overdrying may also occur if we dry our product at increased temperature and in if we overdry our product the moisture content in the granules will be decreased. So how to overcome this problem? Always dry the product at a recommended temperature for a recommended period of time and check the moisture content recommended in the BMR, BMR batch manufacturing record and to avoid over time, maintain moisture content according to the validated moisture content of the under drying means our product is not properly dried, but may be the result of under drying. In under drying, our drying temperature may be very low. So to overcome this problem, increase the drying temperature. We dry the product for a short period of time to so increase drying time. In under drying, moisture content is very high, so try to reduce the moisture content. Case hardening. Case hardening is also a defect which is usually seen in the drying stage of wet revelation. What is case hardening? Case hardening is a defect in which binder is entrapped inside the granule, and when we dry up the granule, the granule from outside is dry, but inside the binder is wet or binder remain wet, it is not dry. This defect is known as case hardening. Why case hardening occur? Case hardening may occur due to the very fast addition of binder into the powders to make powders wet in the kneading stage. Fast addition rate may form large lumps and if these large lumps are not properly break down the binder may remain intact inside the granule. Case starting also occur when we rapidly dry our granules at a very high temperature when we apply a very high temperature from outside granules become dry immediately but from inside grains binder remain wet. So how to avoid case hardening? Always use uniform drying temperature and binder addition rate optimum binder addition rate and break the large lumps. Non uniform drying means, as the name indicates, non uniform drying means our drying is not uniform. What may be the reasons of non uniform drying? We overload our product only of FBD, mean we add more quantity of granules than recommended. In case of tray dryers, we add more product into trays. So when air circulates over trays, the upper surface is dried, but the low surface may dry, but upper surface may remain undried or the grains may remain dry from the inside. Water speed which is very Necessary for the fluidization in case of fluidized bed dryer may be low. So, if fluidization is not properly happening in our product trolley, the dry will be non uniform. So, increase fan motor speed, use rotators or scrapers installed inside the product trolley or FPD for the proper rotation of granules inside the product trolley. It will result in proper fluidization and proper drying of the granule. Some FPD advanced size FPD product trolleys are installed with rotator or scraper which help to break lumps and ensure proper fluidization. The next defect is motoring. What is the motoring? Motoring is a defect in which caramelization occurs basically dye channels migrate because dyes are water soluble. So try to use lake color. Increased drying may result in 
bottling so always use an optimum temperature for the drying bottling defect is commonly observed in case of the spray dry so you can use to dry spray dry the next stage is dry sieving and possible defect in dry sieving may be the excessive fine what may be the reasons of excessive fine excessive fine is produced due to the overloading of granulator if we add or more granules into the hopper of granulator it will it may result in more fine generation particles so do not overload the oscillating granulator if we use a very fine mesh instead of recommended mesh it will result in fine granules or fine particles if our dry mill speed is very high it will also generate fine particles so the solution is optimization of all these factors mean optimum load capacity optimum speed and use the recommended mesh or sieve for the sieving of dry granule in final mixing or final blending step the defect which may face may be the irrigation or assay problems and the reason is same non uniform mixing over speeding or very low speed of the blender may result these defects so always try to use recommended rpms of the blender as we use in the validation batches to prevent assay problems or non uniform mixing problems so i hope you are now familiar with the defects of granulation these are basically most commonly observed defects which are seen in wet granulation and if you talk about dry granulation dry granulation most of the defects are same but as you know that the kneading step or wetting is not involved drying is not involved so the possible defect at that stage may occur in the slugging stage or thinning of the slug at slugging stage the hardness of slug may not be proper so when we screen these low hardness slugs it will generate more fines and less granules which will create problems during granulation and if you talk about drag compression as you know that in drag compression we simply mix our powder so in drag compression method we will we may face aggregation or non uniform mixing type problems so it was a complete topic about defects of granulation if you like the video share it to others and subscribe our channel you can also read the details of this topic in form of an article the link is given in the description and you can also visit powerpoint.com for more readings till the next video allah hafiz